What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, and today we are doing a real versus fake Yeezy 350 Boost V2, known as either Solar Red or Beluga. You can call them whatever you want. Now, I do apologize. I wanted to get this out a lot earlier, but um, the site overseas took three, uh, three to four weeks to ship these out. But um, they're finally here, so uh, we're getting getting you the comparison. Another thing is if the quality of this video and the sound is different, it's finally because I have a new mic and my camera going. I'm trying to work out some of the, you know, uh, quirks in it and everything. And I'm also using Final Cut Pro and I'm still learning that too. So, <clears throat> excuse me, like I always do, if you want, pause the video, guess which pair is real, which one is fake. All right, so if you did that or if you're just waiting, Fakes, real. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. These fakes are incredibly good. Um, not to down talk any other reviewers' comparison of the shoes, but, um, you know, whatever, if uh, people saying that there's a ton of flaws, you know, they probably got an early version because, as you guys may know, they always update um, to get even closer and closer to the fakes. This pair is just crazy close, but like always, I do need to state this video is for educational purposes only. This is to help anybody that is on the market looking for an authentic pair. Things are first, I want to talk what comes in the box of fake shoes that might be an alarm to you if you see it. Um, again, I'm not putting emphasis on this because somebody could easily throw it away or even kind of add it in. But the first thing was these Adidas stickers. I'm not going to lie, they're kind of cool. Um, even though they came with the fakes, this isn't sneakers, so I can say that at least. Um, they came with that. They came with 750 keychains. And they did come with some Yeezy stickers, but I actually lost those. Um, another thing what I think is totally not cool. They come with a Foot Locker receipt. And this time, I believe the person was Salida before or something like that. This time the receipt is Kyle Ramos. Let me get that up there. So if you see a receipt and they're trying to sell it to you and say they're real from Foot Locker and it says Kyle Ramos, um, definitely be on the lookout for that. I'm trying to see. It doesn't even say an address. It just says I don't know, Westheimer Road. Platinum VIP <clears throat> customer service number. The quality, even of the receipt, you could tell is fake just by the touch of it. Um, it's, you know, just kind of almost waxy paper cut out. Uh, one more thing is I did try the fakes on, and a lot of you guys know that the 350, the Authentics, they run a bit snug. Um, these fakes run huge. Like, you'd have to go down a full size to fit them, so... I know a lot of people, you know, you buy online, you can't try them on, but let's just say you're meeting somebody up off like a Facebook group, Craigslist, and they say, yeah, sure, try it on. And it's like a size, a full size bigger, be alarmed. The prime knit used throughout the uppers, it varies. Like you can't really distinguish it from real for, versus fake just based upon how it's actually designed. However, one of the things I did notice was where the stripe has as you can see a gradients to the middle seam so it gradients a lot closer on the authentic and it starts a bit further out and i've not only seen this on um you know just this fake but on a, quite a few others some are really bad like they start up here some you know down here but here is a bit of a close-up So, as well as these dark threaded, or the dark threads that are used through the prime knit. So, they are darker on the authentic, and then slightly, a little bit lighter on the fakes. And yes, I'm sure you guys noticed the stripe, which I'm going to get into right now. So, up front we got the fakes, in the back we have the real pair. Um, looking at the stripe, it is a bit more dull as the retail authentic is vibrant so it's a lot a lot more vibrant as you could see another thing is where it says supply 350 or 
St. Pablo loves you or whatever the nickname is it's calling. It is a bit bolder and cleaner on the authentic. Now we're bringing a closer look to the fakes. So the shading is probably the biggest difference. Another thing I want to talk about was the prime knit. So on authentic pairs, now you can see where the gray almost hits the midsole right here. So depending on size, this varies. So this varies from, you know, I, I don't know the exact size range, but I, I noticed as, you know, you get to a size 13, and a, you know, like in that area, uh, it just varies. So it's, it's either there's more of a gap in between here. So you'll actually see like the dark gray, like this, how this style is, you'll actually see that in this mid area. But nothing is as bad as this. So these are both size 10. But that's a huge gap. So if you, you know, if you're noticing like imperfections like that, like a huge ass gap, um, just be forewarned. Another thing is too, so the stripe, it comes like closer to the toe. Versus this one almost hits just that corner of the toe cap. Again, each pair does vary because of size. But both are a size 10, so anything around that size range should help. And overall, what I would do is I would go to, let's say, Flight Club or whatever store that allows you to take pictures. Because I don't think Flight Club does. Um, you know, they got your size. Take pictures. See how it looks. And then if you're hunting for the shoes, you know, when you see those pictures of, like, say you're trying to buy a size 9 and you want to try to get it for a better price, um, use those authentic pictures to help you. So on the hill, you'll notice this point that pretty much comes off the stripe and starts at the medial side or starts to pick up. So we got the fakes right here in the reel. Um, the fakes come out slightly a bit more. They did fix it before it was a natural point now or so-called samples, everything like that. Um, now it just pretty much is just comes out quite a bit more. It is gradient or I should say more, you know, dotted. This one's quite a bit shorter in length, the authentic. Another thing is when you're at the heel, look how wide that is so the actual the hill where it comes up you could see it's a lot wider on the fakes versus the real pair next up it's the hang tag now i don't want to put a lot of emphasis on this as well because somebody could easily remove it but it is worth noting since it's here on the authentic pair you'll have like a more of a glossy overlay and it looks like a true white and the font is a bit or the font, I should say, is a, a little bit more bold. And then on the fake pair, it's flat. Even to the touch, it's different. Um, not quite as bold. More like faded, I would say. So here we have the top of the tongue. Basically, what it is is a piece of fabric that is seamed. And you could tell how it's kind of lopsided in areas. Let me bring you in a bit closer. So it is not like, it's not clean or, by any means. Now, let me bring in the authentic pair so you can see. Not perfect, but a lot, lot better. Um, actually, it is a lot better, a lot cleaner. So here we have the fake pair, and this might be a little bit hard to actually see, but the three stripes on the inside of the heel, basically what it is, it's, it's a bit more flat. It's not as um, bold as the authentic pair. So you might be able to see that. Um, it might be difficult with the lighting and everything, but here's a little side-by-side. -side. I got the cam off the tripod. I dimmed the lights a little bit lower. Switch it up so you can see. Um, on the left, we have the authentic. On the right, we have the fake. You can see the boost technology is different. Fake factories cannot get it right. It's a bit lighter, um, or I should say more towards um, <clears throat> yellow. Yellow-ish on the authentic and the fake is a more true white now bringing you a bit closer the boost is very very smooth to the touch you can count the seven balls little circles 
And then you can also see that it's kind of cut into the side too. So there's an additional three. Now the fake pair, which I'll move off. So it is textured. It's not as smooth, not at all. Um, you probably pick up that textured look to it. It does have the seven circles or balls or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's like they intentionally went out of the way to get all seven correct. There's no cut in between because I know on the previous fakes that was something everyone was looking out for. But they fixed that. Not as soft. It's a lot more dense. I mean, you can see it give, but it's a lot softer on the authentic. The sole is a bit, bit lighter on the fakes, and it would probably be hard to tell, but the easiest way to tell is where it says boost. Now, you see it's it kind of, it's all uniform. Now, here is the, the real pair. Now, you see how it's darker where it says boost? Now, it also is like that for the toe cap. We have, obviously, the authentic on the right, and we have the fake on the left. As it's all just same, and it's just, it's a lot darker on the authentics. If you saw any of our other real versus fake comparisons, you'll know that I am big on the insole, because I believe that the factories, they kind of cut corners just to throw something out there. And for those that want to get something authentic, it's a great way to, uh, to tell. But on the left, we have the fake. And you can see the tissue paper versus the right. I did dim the lighting so you can kind of tell the difference. Um, it was so bright and uh, it wouldn't pick up the white. So I had to switch it up a bit. But you can see a lighter shade. But someone can easily throw that away. Now, on the fake pair, you can also see that the grays are different. Or on both pairs, they should be different. Um, you can even see the designs, the cuts into them are different. Another thing is the sole, or the I should say the other side of the insole. So we have a bright white on the authentic. And then it's, you know, I guess an off, not really an off white. It's just more like a regular white, I guess you could say. It's more almost has a blue tint to it. That's how white it is. Another thing is the cuts on the side. That is the fake pair. Here is the authentic. You can see it's a different cut. And one of the biggest things is try to get this the best way. So. See how big the sizing is on the authentic versus the fake. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but the authentic, I've got a size 10, and it says 8.5 to 9.5. The real actually has size 9 through 10, So, which is a size. Both are size 10, as you guys already know. As far as the size of the box goes, they're pretty much just, uh, the same. The difference is obviously the shade of uh, brown used cardboard. This is the fake. It's the authentic. Now, take note, uh, the Adidas branding down here, you can see the difference between the real and the fake. Now, one of the biggest things is here's the fake box. Let me get up in there. Do you see where it says V10 right there? So, V10 did come on authentic boxes. However, it was for UK sizing. And this is how a UK box label looks. So as you can see, it's totally different than a US box. So the US should say V02. Notice the spacing between still, which is supposed to be still gray, but STE gray, Beluga, Solar Red, and Originals. How it says it twice, and the Originals twice. You can even see the boldness of the 10 the font, everything like that. So here is the fake pair. It's not as, um, I should say, bold. Um, it's a little more dull. You can see the space in between still gray and originals. Here's a quick look at the tissue paper on the inside. 
On the left, we have the authentic, and the right, we have the fake. As you can see, definitely different shading, even different texture to the touch. Um, obviously, you can't see that or feel that part, but <clears throat> very waxy on the authentic, and the fake is just, I guess, not as waxy, you could say. But this should help you out as far as the look. All right, everybody, so that was your real versus fake Yeezy 350 Boost V2, either known as Solar Red or Beluga comparison. Now, um, pretty damn close to the original. I mean, there are differences, um, and I hope those differences I pointed out will help somebody. If not, you know, I appreciate you watching and taking the time out. And if you like this style of video or this uh, Real vs. Fake series, Make sure to subscribe and hit a thumbs up. These videos take a long time to do, not just to throw together, but um, to do the research and things like that. And um, But either way, I do appreciate doing this for everybody, and I love it, and um, it's a lot of fun, a lot more fun than um, just the, the review videos. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.